Hey, what's happening guys? Today I am going to announce our newest giveaway and this is it right here. This is a 30 volt 2 amp DC switching power supply. Now this particular brand is Flexion but there's about 20 of them and they're all exactly the same. So what you see here is this nice power supply. Let's, uh, let's get some size specifications here. It is five inches wide. Uh, for those of you metric types, that's uh, 12 and a half centimeters. About six inches tall and about 10 inches front to back. Now before we plug this bad boy in, I want to test and make sure that this grounding lug actually goes through to ground. So one lead there, one lead here. Yep. So that's good. We are all grounded in there. All right. Let's plug her in and have a look. All right, let's turn her on. Now, as you can see here, we have a current meter and a voltage meter. And here we have a switch for amps high and low. Now we're in the low amp. This is the milliamp reading mode. So you see the decimal point is all the way over there. It is going to read milliamps. If we take the button out into the high mode, it moves the decimal point over and we read amps. We have a coarse and a fine adjust knob for both the voltage and the current. Let's see how. Right up to 30 volts there. Not bad at all. And this fine adjust knob, let's see, yeah. Looks like the adjustments are in a tenth of a volt. So let's put this back up here. Go up to 28 volts here. And the course knob adjusts in. Yeah. I was hoping it was in one, one volt, but uh, not quite. If you can hear the relays switching in and out there, what we're getting are the different windings of the transformer. All right, so let's hook up some wires to this and a load and uh, see what she does. All righty, I've got the meter hooked up here and we'll just see how accurate the voltage is. Let's start with 3.3 volts. If I can dial her in. So 3.3 volts on the power supply meter is showing me 3.5. Let's try the fine adjust. All right, so to get 3.3 on my meter, this needs to be about 3.1. So looking like two tenths of a volt off. Let's go up to five. Yep, reading 5.2, so again, two tenths of a volt off. Let's go to 12 volts. Again, two tenths of a volt off. And then we'll take it up to the max. Yep. 
Yeah, it's reading about 50 hundredths of a volt off. Okay, um, let's take a look at some of the current functions. Alrighty, I have got a 10 watt power resistor in here. Make sure everything is all the way down. We'll turn her on. And you can see it has switched itself into the constant current mode. And even if I adjust over here on the volts, it's staying in constant current. So if I just kick this up a little bit, there we go. So let's give it a half a volt. Still kicking back in the constant current, huh? Okay, so we're in the low mode. You can see we're at 0.6 volts and we're at 76 milliamps. Now, if I increase the current, our voltage goes up. Let's take it up to 200 milliamps. Now at 200 milliamps, you see we're still in the constant current mode and our voltage holds at the 1.9 volts. So how do you set your maximum current on these things? Well, it's pretty simple. Let me start by shutting it off. Turn everything all the way down. And then I'm, gonna, I'm just going to disconnect my power resistor here. And I'm going to put this in the regular amp mode. We'll turn it on. Adjust that. Now let's put our voltage as low as possible. And we are going to short out the unit. Okay. So now you see we are in constant current mode and let's say you want 500 milliamps. We adjust up to 500 milliamps and now we have limited this at 500 milliamps. So when we remove these and hook back up our power resistor, we can increase our voltage, but it is limited at the 500 and milli 500 milliamps. It won't go any higher than that. And that's how you can do it. You set your constant current. All right. Let's have a look inside the machine next. Okay, so here we are with the hat off. And you can see there are three separate circuit boards. There is this one up here. And then there is this control board at the front. And what looks to be just a little um, connector board. Now here is our transformer. I'm going to bring you in close. You can see this. It has two separate windings, an 18 volt and a 10 volt. So apparently by putting those together, we're able to get the 30 volts out of it. Now back here on this back plate is our power transistor. And this appears to be some sort of temperature sensor. Over here, you can see our power switch right down here. Our potentiometers for control. And then you can see here, we also have some trimmer pots for both 
the voltage and the amps so we will be able to adjust that two tenths of a volt that it's out it says it's sealed from the factory or set from the factory and in fact pardon the bumpiness if you look you can see there's some red wax there and there's a little bit of a red stringy stuff on there as well now let me turn this around again let's see the best way to do this i'll have to pick up the camera pardon me we're looking at that control board there you see a big capacitor some nice inductors and a couple of relays that are switching those windings in and out now overall construction this is made of stamped sheet metal same with the outer case same with the back here with this nice fan now one thing about it the fan is sucking air in and it is blowing it onto that power transform transistor and what's nice is they have drilled a number of holes in here I'm sorry I know it's kind of hard to see there there are a number of holes that are drilled in there for airflow so that's really nice now the front panel is plastic and you know it seems flimsy in this way but when we put on the outer cover it uh, stiffens everything up quite nicely let's take a look at it on the oscilloscope and see what kind of steady DC voltage we're getting all right bear with me guys I'm not going to uh, do a screen capture here I'm just gonna hold this as steady as I can so I have my uh, variable DC load hooked up here and I've also got the oscilloscope probe on now if we sweep over here to the scope we have our time division at one nanosecond triggering on this channel and I'm going to turn it on we're going to look for any spikes not really I mean that seems pretty smooth turn it off look for any off spikes looking good all right well I think that's a pretty smooth power supply right there well there she blows sitting on the shelf of Chinese goodness so I'm gonna give her away well not this one this one's mine but I got two and one can be yours if the price is right now nah, I'm just kidding if you want this make sure you're subscribed and leave a comment down below I will choose a winner out of the comments using the YouTube random comment winner thingy on Memorial Day May 31st 2017 so if you like this give me a thumbs up comment subscribe tell your friends let's get a lot of people in on this all right I'll see you next time bye